What do you do when drywall meets a surface that isn't drywall? I'm gonna show you how to take this and turn it into this without the use of a specialized bead. What's up guys? You see our problem here? We got the wall and then we have drywall. Now this is pretty common when you have a gap between irregular surfaces. You're thinking, okay, drywall corner, that's easy. I just tape in a bead and it's now 90 degrees. But when you've got an irregular surface meeting drywall, what do you do? Well, fortunately, Trimtex makes a bead that's designed for that. It's called a tearaway bead. And it's designed to butt up against a surface that isn't drywall. And it's got a flap that peels off. The only problem is we don't have any of that here and we need this done stat. So I'm gonna show you a cool trick that doesn't involve a specialized bead. This is a regular Trimtex vinyl bead. It normally looks like this. So this is just a standard vinyl quarter bead. You could use metal, you could use anything, basically any standard corner bead. And then all we've done is we've just taken a couple inches off of one side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this on the ceiling so that we create a solid edge for the drywall to butt up against the brick here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna slide it along the ceiling to bridge the gap between the wall. And when I mud this in, it's gonna give my drywall the appearance of meeting the brick perfectly with a nice, solid, rigid vinyl edge. A, it's more rigid, it's gonna last longer, but this way, you don't actually have to join these two surfaces, so there's no risk of this edge cracking. Whereas if you tried to just mud it and caulk it, eventually these two surfaces will shift at different rates and you'll end up with a hairline crack. This way, you leave them separate and it looks clean, finished, and it's gonna last. We like that. I'm just preloading the surface up with, this is taping mud, but you can just use your joint compound. And I'm also gonna put a bit on the back of the bead. It'll firm that gap up a little bit more. These beads are, sometimes you're gonna spray some adhesive and staple. This is, uh, these are designed just to be mudded in. So I'm gonna set the bead where I want it. Snug it up to the brick. I'm gonna smooth it in, lock it into place. So when that mud cures and that hardens up, you have a really solid edge where you got drywall meeting something that isn't drywall. That happens all the time and this is a really, really easy way to use whatever beads you have lying around to solve that problem. This is also the moment when you realize why Trimtex makes a tearaway bead and how good it is, but in a pinch, it's a solution for you. If you wanna see how to use the actual tearaway bead, we have that video up on our YouTube page right now. They also make a lot of other specialty beads that get you out of jams all the time. Totally sweet.